<laughs> that was amazing. Yeah, incredible. <laughs> I got a lot of apps on my phone for no reason now. <laughs> I was like, try anything, try anything. Just go outside, throw the phone in the air, try anything. <laughs> Awesome. Well, welcome to the meetup, guys. I'm really, really honored to have you both here. I'm big fans of both of you, or I'm a big fan of both of you, and I feel like um, a lot of your fans are going to be really excited to hear your answers to my questions today. So I just wanted to start out. Um, Jean, if you want to tell us. Hi. I'm so happy to have you here. I've been a big fan for a very, very Thank long time. you. <laughs> You're welcome. I want to ask you um, how you decided to produce for yourself. Like, what was what was that like? Um, I I I was doing production way long way longer than I was doing uh, rapping or or I guess not necessarily writing in the sense, but writing for specifically for rap music. And um, my brother had was in a, a like a new age band and had a lot of equipment in his room, like all these old Insonics and um, these huge Yamaha keyboards and keyboards was so heavy and bulky. So when he went out, I would go into his room and play with all the stuff. And um, so I wanted This um, the Gemini Scratchmaster, which had a um, the A, B, and C eight second loops. Mm. So I gave away the turntables because they were. Can we curse? Can we curse? Go yeah. for it. Can I curse? Oh yeah. The, oh, the turntables are fucking horrible. Fucking horrible turntables. But I wanted to keep the Scratchmaster, and that was the first thing that I started making beats on. Um, and I, I I was hanging out with a lot of rappers at the time, but I wasn't. I never rapped in front of anyone, even when I started writing. I was just giving everyone beat tapes. Um, so I wanted to be a producer and a DJ before I wanted to be anything else. Amazing. So what are you using now? Just the spoons. Um, I just, they're, they're much easier to carry. Mm -hmm. um, I just play the spoons now. Um, I'll, I'll use anything. Um, and and that was kind of still the way that I learned. I was like, you could put anything in front of me, and I want to be able to to pick up on how to use it, um, which is kind of how I I try to be with everything. Um, I've been using Logic and MIDI keyboards, but I always add you know some element of something live to it. Uh, I lost my ukulele somehow in the back of a cab, but I just got a new one, so I've been using that the past couple of days. Um, and kind of whatever's around. Oh, I've I've also had to pick up uh, what's it, Ableton. I don't like it. Mm. I'm not, I'm not, I know Ableton. I know so many people enjoy Ableton so much. No, it sucks. I, just, I just, <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. I just I have, I have some fucking aversion to it, and so so <laughs> it got installed. And I and and I'm like, yeah, no, okay, that's cool, it's cool. I'll, I'll totally use it. I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna love it. I fucking hate it. I hate the shit out of it. If I could turn able to in, into a person and punch it in the face, I would do that. <laughs> no. Um, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. Just there's yeah, there's there's certain things that I that I like more and that I've always loved more. I love keyboards more than I loved working with um, pad machines. You know, the, I had the SP12. I've had MPCs, but I've always gravitated more towards uh, keyboards. Um, the the EPS uh, 16 plus being my favorite keyboard of all time. Oh, oh. Yeah. Well, Cash. Hey. Hey. Oh, hey. <laughs> so, like, how did how did you get started, and when, and like, um, decide? So, to do that? so basically, it's it's going on three years now. Um. And I started with Kilo Kish, who is a singer, rapper, and she asked me to be her DJ. And it's something that, from that point, I kind of fell in love with something new. 
Um, and yeah, I went on tour with Keish and the Internet, and that was amazing. We went on tour twice. And then when we came back, I decided, like, okay, I really want to take the time and study this craft, and, like, really, I want to put my all into this and learn how to DJ. And then I started DJing on my own outside of when Keish performed. So, oh, so are you, I mean, I know that, like, that we're creative people and we do everything, but is there anything that you like more? Do you like producing more? Do you like DJing more? What, what gives you? Well, recently I started using Ableton. Damn um, it. So. Damn it. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm so down for learning anything that makes it, like, easier for me to learn it. But mm -hmm. I'm, I just want to learn right now. So um, I'm playing around with Fruity Loops a little bit, but I'm further with Ableton. But I'm still getting through the tutorials and working it out. But I have a few remixes, and I love DJing my remixes. Okay. So I still love DJing, but I love producing in terms of being able to play it and then seeing everyone's reactions firsthand. It's the best feeling. Yeah, that's amazing. So, um, let's see. I have my little list. So, like, I don't want to answer anything. It's okay. <laughs> you know what? All we can do is answering anything. Sing songs for the rest of the time. I think that would be really. Funny. I know. I kind of wish this was in person because I was watching your sway in the morning. Um, oh. You know? And I was like, I wish we could have been together and been like two seconds. <laughs> could have happened. Could have happened. So, do you guys, I guess, Jean, have you had any? I mean, I'm sure you have some, some at least one story of discrimination in this business that we're in. Is there any one time or more than one time where it kind of stuck out in your mind, like? You just messing with me because I'm not a man. Um, I've never really when I was when I was offering beats to people and and doing and doing music for people, it was never ever a question, and um, I don't think that's ever a question. Like from peers, I think the problem is always every time I put out an album, um, in the past ten that I've done have all been self-produced and I've been doing tracks for myself and you know tracks for I did the first natural resource single that came out I did a lot of stuff for for everybody um, but I think the problem is that nobody ever talks about it like mm. that's been the, the big issue like the only thing we'll ever get to talk about is just, oh, so you're a female rapper I'm like yeah but what about all the other stuff like I have an engineer mastering the songs and I'm putting them out. So we're not going to talk about any of that. Um, okay. Just in, in general, kind of pushing that aside to discuss everything else and being like, ah, oh, we're not going to talk about it. But if it was a dude, you best believe that it would be like, this prolific powerhouse of a man. What a man. What an amazing man. And then I'm over there, you know, spinning 92 dishes and doing cartwheels and shit. And everybody's like, oh, good job, Jane. So, in that <laughs> way. So, mm -hmm. do you think that there's anything that can be done about people not talking about it? I mean, aside from stuff like this? Um, I, I think it's, it's definitely, I think the climate has definitely changed. I think it just had to take some time. Um, you know, for me, it's it's been 20 years, so it's been a little bit of time. Um, but I, but I think it's it's great that most of the conversations, I'd say, the majority of 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 interviews, at least nine out of ten of them, you know, we definitely get to discuss music and, and get to discuss production. Um, so I, I think it was just. A little delay. Oh, did you freeze? Oh, here we go. It was just a little delay. I don't know. Um. Uh-oh. Gene is frozen. Some cash. 
have you have you had any instances where maybe men didn't believe you were good at what you do or I think I agree with Jean. Um, like a lot of my peers, they're very supportive of everything that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. But it would be funny if sometimes I go to a gig and if there's a guy with me, the tech, the sound guy would always go to the guy. Like, oh, hey, hey what do you need? And I'm like, actually, I'm the talent. Hey. <laughs> so I think that's happened a lot. But um, yeah, like I said, my peers are so supportive. I don't deal with it as much amongst them. It's usually outsiders. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, that's I feel like there's always just those little instances where, you know, it's like who who makes your beats or who who does this for you and then Yeah. Say me. Or like, like if you go to set up yourself and you mm -hmm. know what you're doing and then like the sound guy will come and set it up and you're like, actually, you did that wrong. And then they're like, oh, you do know what you're talking about. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Why would I not? All right. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So hopefully we'll oh, there get... we go. He's back. <laughs> this is just what I do now. <laughs> I, just, I, like, I just like to hold up interviews and then I go away. I come back smoking a cigarette. That's cool. <laughs> All good. So, <laughs> who, okay, so, Jean, who are some of your favorite producers? Like, if you could pick how many ever you want. Um, I don't, I don't necessarily, I, it's, it's a weird question for me to answer because I, I, I definitely don't want to answer just in terms of, of rap music. Mm. Um, and I, Um, the sequence, sequencing, sequences of albums and um, musicians who are really fully rounded. I've been a huge fan uh, this past year specifically of James Blake. I've been really enjoying him. Mm -hmm. um, I think he's and and I love people that to just go for playing all the instruments, writing all the songs, and finding out you know different ways to arrange music and not paying attention to structure mm -hmm. anymore, which is kind of the place that I'm in. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I can go back and and do hip hop and say premiere and 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 um and Pete Rock and and uh, Havoc definitely was a big influence for me, but. Um, I kind of, I kind of run around genres. And me, I like me. Oh, and right now, um, right now, right now, Quelle Chris, because he also said I couldn't have all the beats, but we're working on an entire album, so I just try to take all the beats anyway. <laughs> really, it's really nice to not have to make beats and have and be working on a project where I'm like, okay, I just have to concentrate on writing. Yeah. That's awesome. So, Cash, who are some of your favorite producers? Um, I guess I can start off with right now. Most recently, I really love Dev Hines. Um, I love Forty. Uh, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, just because. Like, That's a nice one. I mean, you can't. You have to say that. I mean, well, I have to say that. Um, <laughs> um Timberland, Missy Elliott. Those are a few, I think. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, I feel like all the people that y'all name, I'm like, oh, 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 oh yeah. <laughs> I think maybe who didn't you name that I love? Quincy I Jones. Quincy, Quincy Jones. Jones. Yeah, he's like our granddaddy. Like, like he's the one at least that I modeled. Like when I was in school and learning and everything, I modeled my journey after him you know because he he can transcribe orchestras and like and then go do something else you know it's like real simple like he can kind of straddle both worlds so I really like that um so 
Jean, who are some people you'd like to work with, whether for nobody? No one, just no one. I don't, so, I don't like it. <laughs> um, um, uh, I'd really, really like to do a project with John Bryan. Mm. Um, he has um, a really amazing way of I, I like I like people who can bring emotions out of people, um, and you don't even know it's happening. You're like, why why are these minimal chords or, or just this this rhythm? What what ta what the hell is happening? And he does really amazing things just with, you know, a really simple piano that you don't feel. You're like, why didn't I even think of playing that? That's crazy. Um, and I think he works amazingly with artists and, and is able to bring things out of artists. And I think that's also something that producers should be able to do. Uh, that, you know, I get a lot of beats just sent to me. Like, oh, Gene, I can totally hear you over this beat. And you're like, yeah, because you heard me do a record like that, but I already did that record. I don't want to do that record again. Mm -hmm. Never send me anything you think I'm going to like. Send me all the, all, the, all the joints that you're like, you made it like 3 o'clock in the morning. And you're like, ah, I gotta give this one the next day test. I don't know what the fuck I just did. Send me that one. That's <laughs> the one I'm gonna like. I completely agree. I don't think I could have said it, or anyone could have said it any better. Because a lot of times, people just expect you to want one thing um, when you want a completely different thing. So, okay. Cash, same question. Who, um, who would you wait, like to work? Who would I like to work with, right? Mm -hmm. Um The Dream. Oh. He's a good Rock writer. Good writers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Rafael Speak. Um and this is this is like anything, like this was a dead or alive question or just like right Any now? Anyone. So the dream, Raphael Sadiq, Sade. Um Sade is alive, damn it. No. He's a no, we said Did you we said kill both. Sade? Did you just kill Sade? <laughs> no. no. No, we said both. <laughs> no, I know she's alive. Look, I'm wearing her right now. <laughs> in tribute, in tribute, Kitty. <laughs> no, I didn't get to that part yet. I say my top three a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> so, the people who are not here, I would say like an Aaliyah would be awesome. The left eye. Um, those are the uh, people like that really. Um. But people that I could actually meet, I would love to, like I said, like the dream, Raphael Sadiq and Sade. Even like Lauren Hill would be amazing. Lauren. I'm wow. not insulted at all, by the way. I mean, you here. I got no. your emails. Hey, I, I don't mean I have to answer your emails now. Because you oh, didn't no, I, me. I got you. I can make this freeze all over again. Let's <laughs> What's that? I'm like, I got all her info right here. She <laughs> be sending beats every single day. <laughs> I'd be like, damn, why did I do this Google Hangout with this girl? I already filtered all your shit to spam. So <laughs> I'm not even going to see it. I'm doing it oh right my now. <laughs> right, um, oh my gosh. I wish this was like a person. I know we need Got to it too far away. do something in the future. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jean, like, okay, of all of the music that you've made, what can you say is your favorite and why? Um, that never stays the same. Um. Uh, and. I think even if it's a space where I, where I haven't necessarily recorded anything new, um, there's still phases in my life where I can go back and listen to things and be like, this makes sense now or it's something that I want to hear now. Um, and I think there's, there is a, a certain period 
where I started making music that I would really want to listen to, mm. which is not that long ago, and that's different. Um, so everything from 2006 on, when I became a real girl, <laughs> not like a wedding to a, No, um, I, I just think I... <laughs> I just think I, I, I understood how to make music differently. So I started being able to in, enjoy it differently myself, for myself. Hmm. But how long did you feel it took you to get there? Oh, that's a long time. Um, I, not to say that I didn't like anything that I was recording or I didn't think it was good music. Yeah. Uh, but music that I would have on repeat, Mm -hmm. at home for myself in my house just not thinking about the fact that it was me just being like this is the fucking jam yeah um, and I don't think it was necessarily music experiences that it was doing at it and learning audiences and, and, and that's a long time that's like a full adult a full adult life yeah that's amazing I mean I will speak for myself and say that I cannot wait to get to that point. Yeah, I feel the same way. You know, like where I'm just like, oh shit, this is like, this is amazing music, just across the board without it even being about me, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think the fact that you got to that point where, where it, it the songs are bigger than you, mm -hmm. that's amazing. It's almost like just growing, just when you're growing naturally into being your own woman, it's like that yeah. same type of feeling. Where it takes all these years to really say, like, this is the same thing with music as well. Like, over time, you're like, I'm so comfortable with this sound or creating this. I just love what I created. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, this is also deep and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so Cash, of all the music that cracking you've up so far, I know I've been, I've been cracking up. <laughs> so Cash, of all the music that you've made so far, what's your favorite? Who's your favorite people to work with too? Um, I mean, I feel like I still have a lot to learn. A lot of people that I want to work with, and you know, creativity to explore. Mm -hmm. But with some of the people that I was have been able to work with and come in contact with, like, Kilo Keish is amazing, something very new and different. And like what Jean said earlier, it kind of made me laugh when she's like, don't send me something you think I like, just send me something random. Um, um, and Kalela is awesome, the internet. Just, I mean, Willow's like a gem. She's just amazing. Um... And I think I'm just really attracted to people that aren't afraid, you know, to try something new and take risks yeah. um, and come out of their element. And then it also allows you to come out of your element and just create in a space where no one's really judging you and you can try new things. Mm. So there's, okay. I, I appreciate just hearing your perspective on it. And I feel like we're all three and three different like brackets which is really I really appreciate the fact that this is happening you know I think it's going to give a lot of people a lot of like inspiration from different places you know um so like if Jean if you were on if you had to like go on a retreat of some sort and you had to take three pieces of equipment or Okay, three pieces of equipment with you, what will you take? Uh-oh. Let's ask Cash that question. Jean will be back soon. <laughs> yeah, Cash, if you had to go somewhere for like, like a month or something by yourself, you can only take three things with you. What would you take? So I definitely would take my computer. 
Um, I'll take my Ableton push. I know you guys don't like Ableton, but I'll it's take okay. my Ableton. Stand, stand behind where you like, girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and, and I'll probably take my cell phone because now everything has an app to it, so um, I'll pretty much just download all everything else that I couldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take that. Jean, same thing. If you had to go somewhere, if you had to take three things, what would you take? Where am I going? You're going on a retreat for a month, and it's only you by yourself. No, no other stuff. <laughs> um, I'll take a ukulele because that's endless songs. Um, I'll take my computer. I get to take my computer. Mhm. Mm oh well, then I just want my computer, and also, um, how much can I carry? Whatever you can hold in your arm. Uh, can I strap things to my back? <laughs> yes. A backpack full of vodka. Yeah. Um, wait a minute, you said computer. three things. I did say equipment. Okay, wait. No, oh, equipment. Oh, well, I wasn't here for that. Vodka well, is equipment. Uh, well, we can, we can continue. Vodka you is know, equipment. Whatever else you would want to take. Have you ever tried to make an album? Vodka is equipment. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Three. There we go. <laughs> so good. I want you. So a ukulele, computer, and a backpack full of vodka sounds like an amazing album to me. Okay. Yeah. What would you take? I would take um. I would take a, a laptop. Hmm. A microphone. You're wasting one. You're wasting one. Am I? Because my laptop has a mic in it. But I'm I'm kind of a audio snob, so I need like quality. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, okay. So no, no mic. So a laptop. Um, I don't know. Water. What? 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 Okay. Listen, I don't know. Why is there not water at the retreat? What kind of retreat is this? <laughs> Why okay, would you so, give okay, us so, and, I don't really, really need that much outside of a laptop. That's and, why I can't come and, up with it. What, and let me let me sell you. I'm gonna sell you on on no microphone. So okay. you record you record all the songs in in, in your shitty microphone on your computer because it's gonna sound shitty. But you call it the retreat. You call the album the retreat. So everything just sounds like that. And then Pitchfork goes fucking nuts over it. They're like, wow, lo fi recording. How did she think of that shit? Marketing. This is why conversations like this need to happen. Boom. So then I don't need I don't need three things. I just need my laptop. See? Wait, can we bring people? Who would you bring? Hmm. I don't feel like it's necessary to say who I'd bring. <laughs> Just, okay. <laughs> you said, mind your business. Okay, my bad. You asked if it was okay to bring. I thought, I thought, oh, well, this, this is about production, so I guess that is a valid question. Still not, still not going to answer it, though. It's okay. <laughs> Hilarious. So, let's see. Is there anything to someone who's just getting started? Is there anything that you can tell them that would maybe make it a little easier for them along the way, Jean? Um, don't be so quick to throw things away. Um, to get frustrated and, and be like, oh no, fuck this, this shit is not working, I don't want to listen to it anymore. May, it might just be something that you can't hear in it that day. Even if you don't hear it in the next two weeks or two months, keep everything. Um, be patient with yourself. Um, 
and learn everything. I think that was the most important thing and, and just talking about the, the ability to want to learn, to want to, you know, to take the patience to go through tutorials, to, to read things, to watch videos, to be, and it's so much easier now because there's, you can just ser go right on YouTube and be like, oh, I'm having a problem with this, I don't know how to do it, which is the same way I do it. Just go online and click a video and there it is and you learn how to do it. So I think people who are already like, you know, already have the uh, the drive and, and the feeling to do that, then you're you're on the right path. You know what you're doing, and you're way ahead of everyone else who's just not doesn't is not use utilizing the knowledge that's right in front of them. So, awesome, Cash. Same question. If there's any anyone starting out, um, I think starting out what? Oh, just starting out in general. I mean, I agree with Jean, of course. Like, just being patient is so easy to get frustrated. I mean, I mean, I'm putting my hand up myself to say that. Like, it's you can just be like, I don't understand this tutorial. Talking to your computer, then your wall, taking a walk, you know. But it's all worth it. Um, I think for sure, just being patient and believing in yourself and having that confidence to carry something out, 100 percent or 200 percent. Um, to me, what I learned is just being able to be consistent and putting in that work and then having the final product is what really counts. And then once you're able to see your own progress, then it's just a matter of time. Awesome. Uh, oh, and one now more we have time. Twitter and Google Hangouts so we can meet people that we want to meet and talk. <laughs> that helps. Um. And, and one more thing, and don't be afraid about your own uh, weird process. Like, if it's that you need to look for the perfect snare for three days, that's okay. Then you know exactly why you need to look for that perfect snare um, or, or the way you tweak sound or the way you think something should go, but nothing else sounds like that. Don't fucking worry about anything else that's going on. That's the reason that you're, you're doing stuff so it can be you. Awesome. So you brought up a new question in me when you answered um, because you talked about being able to look online and find tutorials and just how everything is at our fingertips. Do you think that, what do you think about, um, or how did you feel when anyone could become a producer if they owned an Apple? Um... I, I mean, I think it started before that. It definitely started before that. And then, you know, it started with, you know, I started producing stuff at the age of 12 just because I had a, a, a sample loop. Um, but I think there's always been access to everything. DJs became producers when they, you know, brought back the breakbeats. That was it. If you had records and turntables or had access to it, then you're, that's, you're already making a record. Um, I think there's always going to be a point where technology makes things available to people, uh, and then you get a lot of amazing shit, and then you get a lot of crap shit, you know? There's a lot of really great music and a lot of really bad music. There's a lot of really great journalism and a lot of really shit journalism because everybody's a writer. Mm -hmm. um, but I think the point is for us to focus on the people that we never would have been able to hear, who never would have had a voice without this. I think that's, you know, the, the far more important point. Like there's a lot of handicapped kids who can walk now, but there's a lot of asshole handicapped kids who can walk now. True. Due to prosthetics. True. That I will but, never make that point again. Yes. <laughs> Everybody deserves a chance to walk. <laughs> like, you know, even the assholes. That's right. Mm -hmm. So should we go to Twitter and see what people on Twitter are saying and asking? I know they probably Absolutely. have a couple questions. I have, um, let me one second, let me pull it up here. From Rob Milton, he wants to know, what inspires you to dig into a different sound with your production? Cash, you go first. Oh, wait, we, I didn't hear your question. What inspires you to dig into a different sound with your production? Who is this to? Both of us? Yeah, I'm not saying Cash. Cash, you can go first. 
what inspired you to think to a different sound? I think, I think in terms of, like, for me, I just, in my mind, I already have an idea of the sound that I want to create. And it's about, like what Jean said earlier, like, finding that right snare, finding that right drum, and tweaking it to what I have in my mind already. Mm -hmm. um, that's the way that I kind of go into it. I have like a, in my mind, I already have like a map of how I want it to, the final product to be. Um, this is for you. Same question. Um, oh, that's for me. <laughs> um, I I go through I go through different phases and I never I never know what's coming next. So I don't know I don't really know what what kind of style of just music in general I'm gonna want to make next. Um, and I don't know if I really decide that or it's just things happening consistently that you know I'm kind of picking up things from everywhere. And it happens. Um, I'm definitely just influenced by life experiences. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't have a, a real good answer for that. I don't. I never know what's coming next. But I always kind of get <clears throat> kind of frustrated when I when there's like a little bit of waiting period. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? Come on, I don't know. And then the first thing I do, I'm like, oh, that's new. I, I guess we're doing that now. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> all right. I don't even know what to call this, but it is what it is. So I don't. Yeah. I don't know. I don't have a good answer. <laughs> I think that was a good answer. That was a good answer. Of course. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just, uh, the same question. I would say I like to ask myself how I want to feel mm. and what dance I want to do. Like that's how I decide what I'm about to do. So. It's very simple. It's like, oh, okay, and then I just make it from there. It's like um, really primal, and that's, that's the answer. That's it. Callie, any more Twitter questions? Um, there, there is. I have a question actually. I would like to ask. Uh, Ms. Jean Grey, what led to this most recent body roll music project? Mm -hmm. um, I, I mostly enjoy music that's not rap music uh, in general in my life. Um, not that I don't enjoy rap music, not that there's anything wrong with it. Um, but I was kind of just in a place where I was like, eh, I want to do something else. Uh oh. Am I gone? Yeah, I'm gone. Who's gone? Everybody's here. I'm here. Uh -huh. Are there any more Twitter questions? I'm sure there's. Something. Over here. Let's ask more. Where do you see your sound headed next, Ms. Kitty Cash? Um, where's my sound headed next? I I don't have like a real answer for that. I think it's something that you figure out along the way. And it grows and evolves naturally. Oh, we here? We frozen? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, we can. That was a good answer. I, I think that's great. Yeah, I think that's how I feel about that. No. Any more, Kali? I'm sorting through. One moment. I just want to say I'm really happy and thankful that. Um, OK Player made it possible for us to do this. And I'm thankful for you two wonderful, creative people being here. This is just, good. Yeah, I think this is going yeah. to inspire a lot of people. Even me, like I'm probably going to watch, like come back and watch it a couple times. This, is the, uh, yeah. this is the second good music conversation I've had in the past two days. 
So oh, this is mm -hmm. this is nice. Good job. Good job, you guys. Good job, you guys. I have one more, Messina. Unless you're ready to jump back to yours, I have one more question that came in. I'm good. I don't have any more. I'm, I got. Oh. A, <laughs> I got a lot. No, of, uh, no we did, we've, we've gone through a lot. Um, the the question is: Is there a checklist that you go through? And the process of getting ready to work on a song is—is is there something that you say I need to have all of these things lined up in order to really get started and and create? Um, should who's answering? Um, Jean? Yes. Um, a table <laughs> uh, or a sturdy surface, whatever could be a bed. I don't know. Um, coffee, um, and some sort of beverage. Oh, and cigarettes. I smoke a lot when I'm working. Cash. That's, That's my whole process. No, so probably like a glass of wine. That's it. Like my bed or the floor. Just, you know, you need to just get in your own zone, your own vibe, whatever that is, how you create it. But a glass of wine usually does the trick for me. Oh. So yes, so the answer is alcohol so far. <laughs> that that makes it uh, so true. Uh, mine is mine is different um, by the day, but I think just finding a comfortable place for the time, you know, just emotionally, like I write in a journal before I start. Um, just to get myself like in whatever frame of mind, and then after that, it's like anything goes. Um. One more came in for you. Uh, this one is from looks like Mira, and the question is: If you could, if you were doing a cover song, what song would you cover, and how would you produce it differently? Ooh. We'll start with Cash. Wait, I need to think about this one real quick. Ooh. All right. What song would I cover? Let's so all sit here quietly for five minutes. <laughs> you do, right? Yeah. That's the That's whole show. That's the whole other show. Yeah, don't think too hard about it. Which What's one would I do today? Yeah, today. Exactly. Do I, what do I have access to? Do I have access to like an orchestra? Yes, anything you want. Anything you want. I have access to an orchestra, a giant orchestra. Uh, I would um, do a cover of They Won't Go When I Go. Huh. Full on. Wow. That's a gorgeous song. See, my answer would be like Benny and the Jets, <laughs> <laughs> or like something from <laughs> Seth. <laughs> I think, yeah, maybe like I'm going down Mary J. Blige, and then just rework it, just like steel pan vibes, just switch up the whole vibe of the song. Ooh, wow! I might try that actually. <laughs> you asked that question. You gave me an idea. Amira, thanks, Amira. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kylie, any more? Should we do one, two more? Did you say yours, Messina? What song you? Oh, play? I said I would do Benny and the Jets. See, yeah. I'm like silly, so I would do, but, 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 you know, like just something silly. <laughs> <laughs> Let me head back over to the questions very quickly. I'm trying to tweet as everybody's talking because y'all are saying such amazing things. Let me jump back over here. Somebody wants to know uh, if they if they have an email where they can reach you. How do you deal with that? That's a question I have. How do you deal with people who who always want to give you beats or want to work with you or you know the the people that you don't know that come out of the woodwork sort of and say. Um, can you put me on? 
Um, I, I'm usually like I'm not accepting any beats right now, but thank you very much. I actually just said that today on Twitter. I thanked them, and I was like, I'm not accepting anything because I have like literally five projects I'm working on at the same time, and I just I honestly don't have the time to go through stuff. So, but I think it's a, it's always a great thing that people you know want to come up and, and do that. And sometimes I I take stuff. It depends on um, what the day is, or um, if I somewhere and I've had a couple of beverages and I'm like, hey man, I would love to hear your beats. <laughs> and then it's usually never a good thing to hand. Um, oh, here's a good tip for producers. If you run into an artist and they're at their show, but you see them like walking around kind of and they don't have like a bag and stuff on them, it's a bad time to give them a CD because we're going to lose it. Mm -hmm. And we're probably going to go back to the dressing room or the hotel room. Um, the dressing room is never going to make it in my bag. The hotel room, I'm going to take everything out and put it on the bedside table, and it's never going home with me. Don't do it. Good tip. Yeah, that's a great tip. Oh, if you give me like a, you might, you might, you might want to give me a little flash drive. I might be a little impressed by that. <laughs> That to me at A3C. They gave me a flash drive. I put it in my pocket. That was brilliant. And I'm like, oh, this is cool. I can take this, and then I can take your music off, and then I can still use it. Thank you for the gift. <laughs> Everybody's gonna be passing you flash drives. Oh, you gonna get mad? <laughs> <laughs> I know that's so funny. Bad flash drives tomorrow. These people tweeting right now. <laughs> Greasy flash, flash drive for you next time. <laughs> Or give me a cassette tape. Give me a cassette tape. I would get that. I'd be like, oh, this motherfucker is different. I like you. <laughs> what else would you like? Let's just put it out there so we can have right? people. Um, draw me a sketch. <laughs> draw me a sketch of what your beats sound like with, like, a way to contact you. And I'd be like, that's a fucking cool thing to do. Never seen that before. But at least do something to differentiate yourself, you know, the same way that us as you know, uh, um, verbal artists have to be able to differentiate ourselves when you meet someone, you know, because you don't just want to go up to someone and be like, let me rap for you. Also, fucking stop doing that. Um, <laughs> it's always at the worst time. Um, but there's, there's different ways to go about selling yourself and marketing yourself. Um, and sometimes it's not really that people don't want to take it, but they really just don't have room to. Yeah. So... Oh. <laughs> so if somebody wanted to promote themselves, what do you think the best way? I mean, yes, setting themselves apart and yes, giving you something creative, but like, what if I really just wanted to rap for you? Like, what do I do? Like, do I make a YouTube video and I like tag you and I make one every day for the next two months until you watch it? Like, um, I don't know. Because that would make me call the police. <laughs> so there has you to know. be like a, you know what I mean, like a happy medium between. You gotta, you know, it's the, it's the same way. It's it's the same way you're 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 figuring out your way to present yourself to the world every time. The same way you go outside every day. You're like, how am I presenting myself to the world today? How am I differentiating myself mm -hmm. from everyone else? It's just finding your 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 spot and something original and something creative, which is what you're supposed to be doing for a living anyway. So. You should be able to come up with that. Boom. Go. So. I do but have I like a question. When I like email me music. I listen to it on See? on the plane and on the train. And I know a like, lot. Of, and I know a lot of people like that because then you have a long trip and you're like, oh exactly. shit, I got time. And you know, I'm always like putting together mixtapes and things like that. And even if it's a, I don't know, just a project that I'm working on. It's cool to include new music that maybe I didn't find myself on SoundCloud, but they emailed me, and I'm like, oh, shit, like, this is kind of ill. And I listen to it, but, you know, sometimes I'm like, okay, I don't know about this. But I try to respond because, you know, I get it. Like, they took the time out to reach out to me. So I do my best to try and just say, like you said, like, thank you. I'm going to check this out. And sometimes I'm like, this is sick, like, let's keep in contact, whatever, whatever. And other times I'm just like, thanks for sending it. So I would tell people to just send it. You never know. 
I think artists today are super hands on and people are going through their own inboxes. It's not like, yeah. you know, five people are check like answering my emails, like I'm answering my emails. So I would say send it. It it won't hurt you. So don't send it twenty times. <laughs> or Tumblr. Tumblr's good too. Uh -oh. Yeah, that's that's always nice. Send a link to where I can find all your stuff. Like you don't have to necessarily send it to my email. Yeah. Send me a link to other things mm -hmm. so that you know it's a more broad spectrum. Yeah. Or fold um, it before I got me. Got me a paper plane. <laughs> One more question that I would like to ask. Um, I won't ask anyone to name their favorite song, but where's the most unexpected place you found inspiration for a song that that really spoke to you? And a penis. <laughs> Jeez. Listen. Like that's not going to be the answer. Like that's not going to be the answer. Come on. That is not King Gray. Okay, it's okay, I know. I take it back. My I take it back. Mm, no, 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 no. No, I, you don't take that. No, no, no. I, I'll take it. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Damn, I wish I called that on Snapchat. Wait, what did you say, Jean? Um, uh, I, because she said unexpected, and that was not unexpected. No! <laughs> that was expected. Um, uh, I was walking by uh, a church, and it was a, you know, super loud, tiny street church, and um, they were doing um, kind of old, super old, like, uh, uh, big band swing drums, which you don't expect to be coming from like a gospel church, and I was like, "Oh shit!" And melody immediately hit, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Got to run the, the rest of the way home, and got the entire song like in the next two blocks, and had to go home and arrange things really, really fast. Um, and that became one of my favorite, favorite songs, and favorite like unexpected. Oh shit! This just happened right here. And then everything else just kind of crashed in really fast. Yeah. Which song is that? It's not out yet. Oh, okay. I think my. Trying to get the scoop real fast. Right. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they know how I do. They know how I do. <laughs> <laughs> my most unexpected moment was um, I think it happens a lot. Like, I'll make mistakes. And then I get ideas from mistakes. So like my computer will freeze up or something and everything will go like ka -ka 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 -ka. and then I'll be like, oh shit, ka -ka 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 works in this song or whatever. <laughs> so mistakes are always my best um, you know catalyst to making something cool. Cash. Um I wanna say like one of my favorite things to do, especially like in the summertime, is to go to Panorama, where it's in Brooklyn, like it's during, um, like in the summertime, or actually like September, um, and then they're just like playing steel pan and they're covering like old songs and new songs. Are you familiar with it? Are you guys from here? Are you guys here? Yeah. And like uh -huh. from New York, Brooklyn area? I am, mm -hmm. but I've never been there. Yeah, so it's just like... Before Carnival happens, like on Eastern Parkway, um, the steel pan bands, they come out, or you can like go watch them practice in the nighttime. And it's literally like one of my favorite things to do. And they play all night, all different types of songs. That's great. That's yeah. great. You guys got to go check it out. It's Sorry. called Panorama? Oh, like steel panorama. Okay. Yeah, like steel pan, exactly. That's <laughs> fun. <laughs> Yay! Well, are we, Callie, how are we on time? I think, I, think, I think we're good to wrap it up. I, I would just like to ask the ladies what we should be looking for next so we can give you a chance to, to promote what you have coming up. It doesn't just have to, because I know, Jean, you're everywhere. And, I was like, oh. Okay. So it doesn't, it doesn't have to be music-related even. Just what, what else can we be on the lookout for that, that you want to put out there? 
Um, the I, I think the, the first thing that will probably be coming out is the uh, I Swear to God album with Quale Chris. Um, number six, Sakes, which would follow number five as an album. Um, there's another one that's untitled. Cake or Death still. Um, Life with Jeannie is making a transition into bigger and better things. Congratulations. Um, so, don't expect that. Um, my new cooking column on Jezebel, and um, I'm around the city doing a, a, a bunch of things in the next couple of months and doing, um, oh, I'll be doing a Harlem stage on the 6th. Um, check for me in random places like Union Hall and the Bell House. I think I'm at the Bell House on the 4th with Sarah Benacasa doing some jokes and shit and great stuff um, with some very funny ladies. Um, yeah, basically everything. Um, yeah. Just kind of got to for no one in the end. So. Nice. And some murders. <laughs> Cash, what we what can we look out for you? Um, definitely the next and the last installation of my Love the Free project. I'm really excited for that. I'm doing like a series of gem inspired reading, like bi monthly almost. And then, what else? I'm doing a lot of writing for the Huffington Post, just writing about music that I like and people that I love, things that I like to do. Um, and I think that's it for right now. Love the Free is taking up all my time, basically, so. <laughs> No. Oh, forgot two more things. Two more things. Wait. Um, the video for So Far So Close uh, from the number five album should be out in the next two weeks if I can finish it because it's animation and I thought it would be much easier and now I'm like, why did I start this? Um, and a podcast called What Else Do You Do? Okay. Listen. Are you posting? Oh, yeah, yeah. She just reminded me too. See? There's more. And um, I do a podcast. I do a uh, all-female podcast. Oh, my God, you should come, Jean. Please come. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. Okay. We do a, a podcast at Red Bull, and it's me, Ashley Outrageous, Geneva, and Jessica Learman. And it's awesome. We call ourselves the Slumber Party, oh. and we love talking to artists because we, we make it really cozy, and we try to just talk about everything. Um, we have a different approach than, like, a normal, I guess, blog or, you know, writer would how a writer would attack an artist. We kind of go in as like a friend and try to get all the good, good news. So, can't wait like to have you, Jean. I, I will wear a onesie. I will wear a onesie. Email me info about that, Cash. I, I would love to make sure that OK Player keeps up with that. Yeah, OK, I will. Yay. Messina, what you got going on? I'm finishing a project. I just started um, sewing again. I've been making clothes recently. Nice. And I'm teaching online lessons. I teach voice and piano and production lessons. So if anyone watching this wants to learn any of those things um, online, then hit me up. And that's about it. What'd you say? I said, here's a good place to do it. That's a great way to end that. Look at you. We offered nothing to the community. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, um, really well. so honestly, Jay, I think that you, you and Cash have offered plenty to the community just by being these forces out here. So yes. you will always be that. You'll always offer something. And we're thankful. Yes. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you all for, for being here and for doing this. This is very important, you know, as as not just as women in the music industry, but just as people who want to inspire for those who need to be inspired. Very grateful that you've taken the time to do this with us today. Thank you for having us. Thank you, Thank you for having me. I have one last request, guys. Yes. Can you guys all say hi to my Snapchat? <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. 
Okay. All right, y'all ready? Go ahead. Everybody say hi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was amazing. Awesome. All right, Christina, you want to take us out? Yeah. Thank you for coming to the meetup. And thank you, Jean Gray. Thank you, Kitty Cash. And we'll see you next month. Bye. 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 <laughs>